Hello, I'm Ollie and this is Crimin' Ollie, where I talk about crime, pulp, horror, that kind of thing. Today, gadgets, I've got an unboxing for you of an e-reader with a 10-inch colour screen. So the delivery guy has just dropped this off and I'm super excited to get into this box and see what's inside. I've literally run straight upstairs, set up my camera and started filming. Uh, before I open the box though, I need to let you know this is a sponsored video today. So this device has been sent to me by Big Me, the company you make it free of charge um, in response for me doing an honest review video of it. So that review will probably go up in a week or two once I've had a chance to really use the device and see what it's like. Um, but thought I would do an unboxing video today um, to give you kind of first impressions of it and a first view of it. I am really excited to get into this. So what should be inside here um, is a Big Me Inknote Color Plus, which is a 10 inch or 10.3 inch screened e-reader. So it's got an e-ink display, but it's a color e-ink display. So th this will be the first time I've seen a color e-ink display in the flesh. I've seen them in videos and things like that. I've never actually seen one with my, with my eyes, if you like. So really excited to see what this is like. I think style-wise and size-wise, it's kind of a similar sort of size to the Kindle Scribe. Um, it does have a stylus as well, like the Kindle Scribe, but it's got that colour screen. Um, and unlike the Scribe, it runs Android, so you can install any app you want on it. So you can use it for a variety of different things, not just for, for reading and note-taking. So let's get the box open uh, and have a look. So the top of my TBR cart has become my normal place for filming stuff like this. I'm not sure if it's quite as professional as some channels, but it works for me. So let me open up this box uh, and see what's inside. Okay, it's well protected. Oops, just knock some books over. Okay, so it's in this kind of huge bubble wrap. So let's move that box out of the way. Okay, here we go. So there's a few different things in here. So there's some sort of accessory. Not sure what that is. There's this separately, which I think is probably a case. Sorry for the glare there. And then this seems to be the main event. So yeah, Inknote Color Plus Lite 10.3 inch Kaleido ink color screen. It says on the back there. Uh, so let's get into this and see what it looks like. Okay, here we go. I would say the, the packaging is decent. There's the stylus, so let's leave that for a second and take the actual device out. So here we go. Definitely, yeah, similar sort of size and reasonably similar design to um, to the scribe in terms of having that asymmetrical design, which makes it easier to hold. Let's peel the cover off. This is very sticky. Right, here we go. See if it's got any charge. I'm assuming this is the power button on the top. Oh yeah, here we go. Something's happening. Oh, well, there's a bit of animation happening there. I don't know if you can see that, the little guy walking across the screen as it boots up. That's quite cute. It's quite light, I have to say. I'm going to wait for him to finish doing that and then I will have a play around with it and come back. Let's just wait for the... So, uh, English. A privacy policy to agree to. Let's skip that for now. So that screen is really nice. You can see a bit of the colour there at the side. So some of the icons at the side are in colour. So I'm going to have a play with this and then I will come back and show a bit more of it. 
Okay, so I've got it fully booted up, connected to my Wi-Fi, and I've installed the Kindle app just to have a quick look, see what it was like. And you can see that colour screen here. So it's definitely nothing like an LCD screen. It is quite washed out, uh, but it's it's nice. I really like the style of it. And if you go into the Kindle app, you can see it a bit better. You can see the covers there of some of my Kindle books. Uh, if I go into the one I'm reading at the moment, which is a Dashiell Hammett collection, you can see, you know, really nice big screen to read on. If I turn it sideways, it should go into two column mode, which I like for reading. Um, so it definitely feels like it's going to be a very pleasant device to read on. Um, you've got this at the side here, which takes you to um, various kind of menu options. So down the side here on the main menu, you've got a library for any ebooks you've actually got installed on the device. Uh, you've got the App Center where any apps you've downloaded from Google Play will be. Um, there's a note section. Um, so it comes with this stylus. Um, so if I go into this note, um, you can see I've been scribbling on the screen already. So let's go for um, let's go for a ballpoint pen. There you go. So you can see it's quite nice to read on, uh, to read on, to write on. And it has got kind of uh, like text to not text to speech, like handwriting recognition type stuff built in as well. I think so. I'll give that a try. Um, when I do my review but so far I'm really impressed with it it feels like a very nice device to read on um, and a decent device for note taking and things like that as well so yeah so far I'm impressed a nice device indeed I think I'm going to have a lot of fun with this it can, comes with quite a nice cover as well which is kind of magnetic so it sticks on uh, there's a USB-C charging cable you'd expect um, and that stylus too which just attaches magnetically to the side of the device there so all in all, it feels like a well thought out device. It doesn't feel quite as premium as something like the Scribe, I have to say, um, but it's got more, you know, much more ability than the Scribe. So the fact you can install any apps you want on here, I think could be really interesting. I can definitely see me using this for note taking um, on Microsoft OneNote or something like that and syncing those notes into the cloud in, in a way that I can't do on the Scribe. So the Scribe is quite limited because you're kind of tied into Amazon's ecosystem. Um, whereas this gives you a bit more freedom. So yes, I will report back in a week or two, give you some fuller thoughts on it. If there's anything in particular you'd like me to, um, to answer, any questions you've got, leave those in the comments on this video and I will try to do that. Um, but yeah, looking forward to using this a bit more and reporting back soon. So I hope you found that interesting today. As I say, if you have any questions, do let me know in the comments. And as always, thank you very much for watching. I hope you're safe and well out there. I hope you're reading good stuff and I'll speak to you again very soon. Cheerio.